Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to UFC 224 where tonight we are recreating the Nunes vs Pennington fight right here on the official video game UFC 3. So far tonight we've already had a win in both of the sort of men's middleweight bouts that we've done. We managed to grab a win with Vitor Belfort over Machida in the first matchup where we scored a pretty awesome first round knockout and then in the previous matchup with Souza and Gastelum we took part as Souza and we managed to recreate history once again by grabbing the win in that match. That was a unanimous decision vote so it was a little bit closer than the first bout and boy was it well I thought it was going to be a draw so I was pretty pretty happy when we saw that we actually ended up winning 29 to 28. But anyway, we're here, we're at the main event, it's the title bout between Nunes and Pennington, we're going to be taking part as Pennington, and hopefully we can recreate history for a third time, and finally have someone stop Nunes in her tracks. So here we go, time to kick it all off. We're going to be playing on the hard difficulty, so it's, for those that don't know UFC 3, it's basically like the medium difficulty if you sort of add them all up. But it's still quite difficult compared to UFC 2. I must admit, I'm still struggling to get used to this UFC 3 game. It is a women's bantamweight championship fight between Amanda Nunes and Raquel Pennington. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. As she makes her way to the octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape, she is focused, she is motivated, and she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunted for a reason. And is looking to prove that she's still the best in the world at one the champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title. Our tale of the tape for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Both fighters 29 years of age. Nunes is one inch taller, she will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Steve Levin. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter, holding professional record of nine wins, six losses. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Introducing the challenger, Raquel Rocky Pennington. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 4 losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Amanda the Lioness
UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. All righty, here we go. Nunez has been damn right unstoppable in this category. So we'll try and stop her today. doing striker she landed that inside leg kick there we go I don't know why I wasn't throwing any punches there that was weird. Uh. caught that one on the forearm boom well she got her head snapped back with that jab Joe and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range let's see if she can move that upper body and get her head off the center line very nice leg kick there by Pennington. Oh! Oh, come on, I dodged that. That's bullshit. She checked that leg kick, Joe. Ow. Wow! Oh! This could be it. She might try to finish this fight here. Massive oh, boom, another one. Head kick! Oh, straight right. Nice kick oh, come on. I hate it when you throw it the exact same time as the AI, and they yet they somehow still throw it before you, like before you do. Oh, ah, shit! Right wow. Oh, put what the hell! Nice leg kick. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, nice. Nunez gets in the clinch. She's got double underhooks. Locks oh. in the Muay Thai clinch. Oh. oh, big elbow. Oh, this could be it. She got tagged again. She's hurt. Oh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, back to her feet here, but oh man. My God, my stamina is gone already. Look at that. Shot there too. Jab. Uh. Nunez gets back up. Good sign God, my there. stamina is just gone. Wow. Not even three round one yet. Nice. Bennington going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Oh, come on. As if you didn't. Uh. Oh, come on, throw something. Nice jabs turned in there. Oh, she got rocked again. Wow, that was a horrible first round. She's got eaten up everywhere. And now you see her walking back to a little bit unsure of herself. We'll see if her corner can get her head back in this fight. Might have been on the wrong. Oh, that is not what we wanted. Huge knockdown just before the end of the frame. Here's a powerful punch that devastates. And let's take a look at that from a different camera. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste. We are here. in trouble. We are in big trouble. Oh, come on. Oh, as if I did not get that. God damn it. Well, she has landed some very significant strikes here tonight. That is the good news. The bad news, more often than not, Joe, it's been one and done. She's not stringing her combinations together. Oh, the come on, throw something. Let's see if her corner can help. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wow, it's over. Well, flawless performance. That just happened. By Amanda Nunes. Stunning, devastating victory by Nunes. <laughs>
Nah, I gotta give that. That's sick. Oh. I just I couldn't land any jabs for some reason. She just kept reject like rejecting my jabs. I kept trying to throw jabs and nothing was happening. So there she is, you know, I try to, you, you no often lead off with a jab because you can lead off to so many combos from there, which is what I usually like to do, but she wasn't doing it, so I was just went to other stuff and obviously it didn't work. Straight knockout. Well, that was probably one of the quickest fights of all time. God, we barely lasted a round. And still UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, and she certainly got it done at a major weight tonight. Another one for the highlight reel as she defends the belt with a knockout of the number one contender. And it's always uh, nice to see the sports. Oh, that is disappointing. Fight, but also nice to see the We've had two wins tonight, and we couldn't make it three, but... And to see the celebration God damn. in that corner after a big result like this. It was a long build-up to this title fight, a long training camp. But in the end, she gets her hand raised yet again. Congratulations to the undisputed queen of the 135ers. Wow, we got just demolished. Like, absolutely demo demolished. So that round two... God, man, we got just destroyed. That chick, I swear to God, she is unbeatable right now. That was really impressive. Especially considering we won both of the previous two fights. The first one quite convincingly, and then that one... Wow. I am shocked. That was just... Complete and utter annihilation. <laughs> Alright, well... Two out of three. And usually I'd have the results uh, here on the main card, but for some reason I accidentally went and restarted the entire fight before, and instead of going through and replaying them all, I just went and started a new main event with just Nunes and Pennington. So unfortunately the Belfort and... Mishida and also the Souza and Gastelum fights are not on there for those sort of results for you guys to see, but you can catch those in the previous videos that I've uploaded. But yeah, no, we definitely did not cap the night off on a, on a high. That was, wow, that was an annihilation. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that was a bit of a disappointing end, but it was a really fun night so far on UFC 224, and that is it. We'll move on to UFC 225 and hopefully get a better end to the night. All right, guys, thanks once again for tuning in. Until next time, I'll catch you.